Hey everyone! So today I'm going to show you my favorite rose blushes and if you've never tried rose as a blush color give it a go because I feel like it's the most natural of all the blush colors. When you see somebody blush have you ever seen anybody's cheeks turn peach or coral when they blush? <laughs> no! <laughs> but yet that seems to be some of the most popular blush colors out there is peach and coral. But anyways, yeah, try Rose. It's very natural, very flattering on everybody. And I went through my collection and chose what I think are my seven favorite rose colored blushes so that I can show you. I'm going to show you in alphabetical order by brand because I couldn't rank them because it was just too difficult. <laughs> So let's start with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I pick seven because there's seven days in the week, different day, different blush. So let's begin with Benefit Benetton. And what this is, is it's a rose colored stain. It's a heavily concentrated rose colored stain and you just put a few drops in the area where you want your blush to be and then blend it out with either your fingers or a brush whatever you like. It's pretty expensive it's like thirty dollars but this one container will last you probably forever because you need so little that this is a lifetime supply of blush so you buy this container once and you're done and um, you just have to be careful you know make sure that you put the cover on nice and tight because this could be a disaster inside wherever you store your makeup but yeah it's a little bit trickier to work with it does take some practice but you know you do get the hang of it after a few tries but um, this is probably the only rose colored blush that you would ever need if you only wanted one However, I have lots more to show you. Second one is by Bourjois and this is number 48, Sandra de Rose Brune. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I'm butchering the name of that. Matter of fact, let me put this right up by the camera there so that it can focus and you can read the name and chuckle about how I mispronounced it. <laughs> Okay, so we don't have bourgeois in the United States. My friend June, who lives in Ireland, sent this to me. Bourgeois is the company who own Chanel makeup. And here's what it looks like. And a lot of the bourgeois products are quite similar in the packaging and colors and so forth to Chanel. But this is a drugstore brand. So very, very pretty, very um, blendable, and very natural looking. I really like it. Number three is CoverGirl Cheekers Blush in Natural Rose. Just talked about this in a video recently. Um, it does smell quite heavily of Noxzema. So if you don't like your products to smell strongly, then this might not be the blush for you. But it is very inexpensive and easily accessible. Really pretty color. And not pigmented, so easy to work with. Sometimes I find that if I'm in a hurry, I will grab my inexpensive blushes first because I know I'm not going to have to be careful. I can just stick the brush in there, put it on, and boom, I'm out the door. So very easy to work with. Good to have on hand. Next up is what I'm wearing today and it's L'Oreal True Match Natural Gentle Mineral Blush in the color Soft Rose. And I did do a video about this recently. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous mineral blush. Kind of expensive for the drugstore, but in my opinion, well worth it. I love this. I think it is so beautiful. The finish on this is really something. I'm going to put some on my hand so you can see. 
So that's what it looks like when it's on my hand, blended out. Gorgeous. And next up is MAC in Summer Rose. And this is actually a beauty powder, not a blush, but I think that, you know, people would use this as a blush because if you put this all over your face, it would look pretty strange. <laughs> So that's what it looks like. This was limited edition, but MAC brings this blush, or I should say beauty powder. They bring this out like every two, three years and put it in a limited edition collection. Although they don't do the floral embossing on the surface of it. But that's what it looks like. Just really pretty rose blush. So if you just like, pay, if you're somebody who pays attention to what MAC collections are coming out, and what products are going to be in it, then you could probably pick this up every two to three years, I would say, is when they normally release it. But I really like that. I found mine at a CCO a couple years ago. That one there is from the Rose Romance collection, but then it came out again in the Liberty of London collection, so it's usually around here and there. Next up is the Physician's Formula Blush. It's the Happy Mood Boosting Blush in the color Rose. And it has this really pretty pattern on it. This is extremely pigmented. Closer to a high-end blush in terms of pigmentation. When you swirl the colors together, it's a pretty deep colored rose. So between the depth of the shade and the pigmentation, you do have to be pretty careful when you apply this. But it's really pretty and I like it a lot. And last but not least is Rimmel in Pink Rose. And they don't make these little, these little tiny blushes anymore. But they do still have this color but it's been repackaged into a different um, packaging. <laughs> it's been repackaged into a different packaging. Okay, right. Anyway, <laughs> you can still get this, but it just isn't going to look like this anymore. But this is a, a very easy color to wear. And I like it. I have not seen the newer version of this at any of the stores near me. Um, I even spoke to somebody at Rimmel and they were like, oh yeah, you can get our blushes at any drugstore department, uh, any drugstore or discount store. Well, the only place I've ever seen Rimmel blushes was Target and it wasn't this line. It was a different line of multi-colored blushes. They have two lines, I guess, in the United States now, but the line that just has the solid color blush, I have not seen anywhere near me. So according to Rimmel, they are out there, but haven't seen them. But anyways, um, yeah, so my point is that you can still get this blush, but it's just not going to be in this teeny tiny packaging anymore. But that's a pretty color, pink rose. So those are my seven favorite rose colored blushes. Um, a color blush that I think is highly overlooked in the YouTube community. And I'll see you next time. Bye.